The Kintam Paul Municipal Hospital is a 125-bed capacity facility and attends to all manner of cases. The hospital is the biggest health facility between Techiman and Tamale. Due to its location, it's a first port of call where accident victims are rushed to. And fortunately, the emergency unit of the hospital is not in good shape. Healthcare is delivered under difficult conditions. Due to the daily pressures on the facility, this walkway in front of the trauma ward has been turned into a major ward. Here is Haruna Seidu, a nurse practitioner of the hospital. This afternoon we had a, a trauma and there, was, there were just 10. So 10 on a, I mean a typical day fine, but there are days that we've had up to 40, 50, 60. And all of them have to come in here because this is the critical care. And, and we only have um, two beds and then maybe two benches, you would say. And they are even not in the best of states. The only adjustable bed has broken. You can't readjust it if you need a different position too. So the space is really challenging. Try doing something. Yeah. If you have to um, raise it, as you, if there is a weight on it, you... It, it will be tilted to one side at a point in time. So you, you, you cannot adjust the patient um, at one, I mean, when you need the particular. And then as soon as you send it up, it goes down by itself. The situation, he tells me, is even worse when other colleagues have to come in to support in emergency situations. When the hands come in and the space is too small, then you cannot move with the patients. And then you have about 10 patients, just four best the rest of the six are on the floor and then there's blood everywhere you cannot step on you are not able to give the appropriate treatment as in giving them infusions and then um, the appropriate movement cannot be made so that affects care very much when you have hands then there's no space and when you actually don't even have hands then there's a lot of casualties that you have to deal with at a time of visit we saw a lady who was involved in an accident lying on one of the beds at the trauma room waiting to be referred to a different hospital for specialist care but had to wait for an ambulance first for about three hours. Medical superintendent of the hospital, Dr. Governor Pugh, said the hospital in such cases uses its resources in taking care of patients. Once it's a rescue mission, you have to use the resources and then later hope for reimbursement from either the clients or their relatives. Quite often than not, this does not happen. So resources are used. You use gauze, gloves, etc. on patients. And once they are referred, that is the end of the story. The bill is on the books pen. So we are happy when we get the support of members of the community or others who give us any, um, any, any form of support by way of supplies, etc., that we can use for this, um, our work. The acting Kintampo North Municipal Director of Health Services, Alice Velatu, indicated the hospital lacks basic necessities for its smooth operations. Presently, as we are talking, we have three medical offices. And they are inadequate. The number is inadequate. And then we don't have ambulance. So when there are cases, we have to call all over Brunhafo as far as Sampa for them to come down. When they come, they fall in and out alone. It's a headache to the municipal assembly. Then the, the Ghana ambulance service, their ambulance too is weak. She noted our promises to get the challenges addressed has not been fulfilled. Uh, politicians have come anytime such things happen. They promise and then when they go, we don't get anything, nothing from, no response from them. The hospital has at now is not having even a pickup. The directorate was sharing its pickup with them, and now that one too is down. According to the SDG health price tag, investment in health systems could prevent 97 million premature deaths by 2030. And situations like this should be urgently attended to. AC Benewa O2 TV3, Kintampo.